Hey guys, this is a video for anyone looking to go to the Playgrounds, which is a popular surf spot just north of Popoyo Beach. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know, how to get there, how much it's going to cost, and what you'll need to bring. So on this day, we got a group of five of us together. We rented motorcycles, which you can rent right there in Popoyo, and we drove off to Playa Astalero, where we're going to catch the fishing boat. So we started off there at Aloha Bungalows, which is owned by Paolo and Marta, right in Hikeliti Beach. We rented motorcycles from them. It's a great place to stay. They have really cool casitas, uh, pool, great restaurant, everything you need to have a good time there. So we just stopped there for um, some food and drinks to stock up for the day. And here we are riding out to Playa Astalero, which is where you're going to catch the fishing boat. It's a fishing town, so they have a whole bunch of fishing boats out there on the beach. And uh, they'll happily take you wherever you want to go for the right price. So we're pulling in here now. And this is the little fishing village. And we're going to get off the bikes and put our helmets inside the office. And we're going to get ready here to go... Uh, hop on the boat, put our surfboards on there, and uh, get off to the playgrounds. So before you head out, I definitely suggest getting a lot of sunscreen, bringing a bunch of water, Gatorade, uh, some snacks, because you're gonna be out there for about four or five hours, and uh, it can get hot especially if it's a nice sunny day. You definitely want to stay hydrated. So it took the guys about 15, 20 minutes to get the boat ready. While they did, we were just hanging out on the beach, chilling, checking out some beach pigs. Doing some agility tests. So here we are putting the boat in. Uh, I think it's interesting to see how the fishermen navigate these large boats. So we got the surfboards all uh, on the boat and we're heading out. This is Playa Astolero you're looking at right now. And we're about to head past uh, a couple surf spots um, coming up just on the other side of Astolero. We have this spot here. It's a group of guys uh, surfing there. And you'll see the boat that they chartered in a little while. But you can swim there from Astolero if you want to just... Uh, walk from the beach and, and paddle the board. It'll, it'll take you about 5-10 minutes, but you can get there without having to charter a boat. So about halfway to the playgrounds now. It's about a 15 minute ride out there by boat. And it's a great ride, as you can see. Beautiful day out. On this particular day, it was really windy. You can see the, the wind and uh, the conditions weren't great. We, we surfed for about two, two and a half hours, and you can see the waves here. This is the playgrounds. It was good enough to surf on, but from the guys who've been there before, they told me that it's, it's usually a lot better than this particular day. see a couple of the guys catching waves here. Unfortunately, I wish I had my drone at this point. I would have got some really good footage, but at the moment, I hadn't uh, prepared, unfortunately. But you can see on the beach, there's literally nothing there. It's a nature preserve, so you can't really have too much um, infrastructure there. So the best way to get there is by boat. 
So after about two and a half hours, we decided to head back. And we're going to try to check out some of the other surfing spots. This is um, a spot they call El Piñon, which is on the other side of Astolero. We're considering surfing here, but the guys decided we just were going to head back. But you can see this lone surfer out there trying to catch all these waves. Did some wave jumping. And right around this bay is uh, Playa Astolero. So right before we're gonna head back, uh, you can see these guys surfing here on Astolero, on the north side of the beach. There's a break there that's worth catching. Thank you, man. So now we're heading back into the office and we're going to pay the guys. And I'll let you listen into the conversation here. If you speak Spanish, you'll understand. If not, I'll translate after. So, how much is it? 3,500. So, the price was $100, and between the five of us, it came out to $20 a piece. 700 Cordobas was about $20 at the time. Right now, the exchange rate as of November 2022 is a little bit different. Uh, the Cordoba has weakened compared to the dollar, and I think the Cordoba is, I think, 36 Cordobas to $1 now. At the time of this filming, it was about 34 So something you should understand if you're ever heading to Nicaragua is a lot of things are a lot cheaper in Nicaragua than they are anywhere else in the world, but gas is one thing that is relatively as expensive as everywhere else. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna do something that takes gas, like uh, like we just did a fishing trip, or you're gonna take another trip uh, on, on a boat, or car, vehicle, taxis, anything like that, anything that takes gas, Keep in mind that it's going to be more expensive than most other things in the country just because of the price of fuel. And I wanted to show you guys all the roads there. It's all dirt roads in Popoyo for the most part. I'm sure in the near future they're going to start paving it because Popoyo is one of the more popular towns, cities, beach towns in Nicaragua. And you can see they're doing construction there. I've been in Nicaragua for six years and it seems like they're doing construction every time I go through Popoyo. So I'm excited to see when they finally start paving all these roads because it'll make a huge difference because um, I don't know if you can see back there, you can see some of the road gets some um, water on it. They sprinkle the water uh, on the road to keep it from dusting them out by every car that goes by. So a lot of the stores and um, people's homes who don't want to get dusted out by all the traffic going back and forth, what to do is they just wet down the road uh, so it doesn't dust them out. You can see the camera's already getting dust on it. It's foggy now, just from all the dust. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you enjoyed it, click like below, subscribe, and we're going to bring you a lot more of uh, the world's best waterfront. Stick around.